Hey guys, Forensic Mike here. Uh, today we'll be looking at extracting an APK from a running device. And uh, this is one of several different ways to uh, obtain the APK, but it can be useful when you have a specific version you're after and you aren't able to find it online. Um, Android is much easier than iOS in this regard. There are some great sites out there that maintain historic versions of applications. Um, but if you've decided that you would like to uh, collect the app from the device itself, whether it's an emulator or an attached device, then you can use this method. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I need to find out what the identifier is for my app. And there's a number of ways you can do this. If you pull up the app on the Google Play Store in a browser, uh, if you look up in the link in the URL, it's usually there. Um, you can use free.ps to list the installed applications. And it's going to look something like this. So in my case, I already know what the identifier is, so I'm gonna skip that step. But there are a number of different ways to do it, and it is helpful to figure out what it is before you start. Um, so I'm gonna use ADB. Uh, one note is that you will uh, likely need root access to be able to access these files. So I'm just going to make sure that I have connectivity and that I'm able to elevate to a root connection and then I can open up an ADB shell. So now um, I'm going to um, just find my APK file. And so if I go into the data folder under app and then I do CD com dot and then I can just type a couple letters typically of the identifier and press tab so you'll see that the identifier shows up but then also some base 64 encoded stuff after that's fine enter into that folder and there's our base.apk so you can do this a couple of different ways you can keep the original path and try and copy that out what I generally do is actually copy the APK somewhere a little bit easier to get to um, and then change the name so that it, you know, if I stumble across this later, I'll have an idea what it was. So I'm just going to copy it into that temp folder and that's done. So now I can exit the shell and ADB pull. Uh, let's make a directory for this first. Um, photo vault. Okay, and then we will adb pull uh, data local tmp photo vault dot apk. Perfect. Um, now you can see that I have my apk locally, and I'm able to use that uh, apk to, if I needed to install in another emulator, or to drag and drop into my reverse engineering tools for static analysis. Um, that's how I go about obtaining the APK from a live device. Thanks.